Have you ever wished that Minecraft Bedrock had mods just like Minecraft Java? Well it's now possible using Amethyst. This series will teach you how to make mods starting from the simple stuff like custom items and blocks, and eventually you'll also be able to make complex mods. Some projects already made with Amethyst are Flashback, adding offhand to Bedrock, Computer Craft with fully embedded Lua support, a minimap mod and more. And to be clear, this is not talking about add-ons, this is actual mods for Bedrock. Alright, this is how to set up Amethyst for modding. All of these pages will be linked below. On the first one, go download for Windows, click here to download. Up next, go to Visual Studio's download. We're going to want to download Visual Studio Community, hit free download. On this, hit back and go and download Visual Studio Code as well. Get the user installer. Next up is RGL. You want to scroll down until you find the PowerShell command. Up next, paste in the command and that will install. Next up, you want to go to xmix installer under PowerShell. Copy this command and paste this one into the terminal as well. Next up, you want to download the Amethyst launcher. You may already have this installed. If you don't, download this exe here. Now we can start installing all of these tools. The first one you want to do is git. Just leave all the default settings on. Just hit finish. When downloading Amethyst Launcher, you may get an error. If that happens, just hit keep on this arrow here and keep anyway. Next, you want to run Visual Studio Setup.exe. It will ask you to do a few things. Hit continue. Once the Visual Studio install opens up, hit select from available, find Visual Studio Community and hit install. Inside of here, you want to scroll down until you find desktop development with C++ and enable this. In the right here, you should see these things tick and then hit install. Whilst this this is installing. Let's set up Visual Studio Code in this installer here. And you want to tick on these two options whilst that is installing. So, so go and install Amethyst Launcher. You can do either one of these and hit finish. This will open up Amethyst Launcher. For now, let's just close that. Visual Studio Code is now finished. Hit finish. That will open up Visual Studio Code. For now, just close it as well. Whilst Visual Studio is installing, I've created a new folder. This will be where I want to download my mods to. First mod you want to download is Amethyst. Under Code, hit Copy URL to clipboard. Head back down to your new folder. Right click, open in terminal. You want to type out the command git clone and then paste in what you just copied. Next, you want to go to the template. Inside of the Amethyst template repo, you want to go code, copy URL to clipboard and open up your terminal again. You want to go git clone and paste that in. After you have finished cloning the Amethyst tutorial repo, open it up in file explorer and you want to find the dot git folder. If you do not see this, go under here, go options, view and enable show hidden files folders and drive hit ok and now delete the dot git folder now all you need to do is just wait until visual studio finishes installing all right once it's installed we can go on to the next step open up the file explorer where you downloaded amethyst inside of here you're going to go into the amethyst folder you're going to copy this path right here next up you're going to type environment variables into windows search next hit environment variables and hit new create a new variable called amethyst underscore source Make sure you spell it exactly like this. Then for the variable value, paste in the path that you just copied. Now just right click, open with code. If it asks you to select a kit for Amethyst, just click anywhere else on the screen. Next, go terminal, new terminal. In here, you'll want to type in the command git the module update dash dash init dash dash recursive and then press enter. Next, you'll want to type in the command xmate space f space dash C. This will initialize all of the dependencies inside of Amethyst and get it all ready. Lastly, you want to run the command xmake. Enter and then this will build the Amethyst runtime. Once finished, you can now close this Visual Studio code. Let's go back up in our folder and let's go to Amethyst template. Right click, open with code. Hit yes. Now you'll need to configure your mod. The first place you need to do is go into xmake.lua. Here you need to rename your mod. Once you've changed the name of your mod, hit Control S to save. Now go into Peter Packs RP. Go into manifest.json. You'll need to replace these two lines here. To replace them, search up UUIDv4 generator and click on this link here. You want to copy this, go back into Visual Studio Code, highlight all of this and paste it over. Make sure you do not have the pointy brackets here and we'll need to do it again. Hit refresh and copy and paste it down here. You also want to rename your mod here. Next, you want to go up here to GitHub, go build.yml and rename your mod right here and save the file. Go to this mod.json file and rename your mod here. Next, you'll want to replace the namespace this is the part of an item's identifier that comes before its name. Make sure that you do not use any characters that are not letters or an underscore. And lastly, fill in your name here. 
open up data, packs, RP, textures, item texture, and update the mod namespace here. In my case, I'm setting it to tutorial underscore mod, and I'm just updating the name here. Lastly, edit the config.json file down here, replace this with the name of your mod, and then replace your mod name up here. Now you can close all of these files. Go up here, terminal, new terminal. Inside of the terminal, type in x make and hit enter. This will build your mod. Once it's completed, type in this command x make base project dash a e s x make dash m quote release quote. This will create a Visual Studio solution for your mod. Whenever you add any files, just run this command again and then Studio solution will now have them. You want to find the one with the .sln file, right click, reveal in file explorer, double click this. Next, it will ask you to sign into Visual Studio. You can either sign in or hit skip and add accounts later. Choose your color theme and hit start. Inside Visual Studio, you can now open up your mod files by going under here, under tutorial mod, hit source and then find dll main.c++. Open that up and here is your mod to build your project. You can either go build, build solution or press the keyboard combination control, shift and B. Now open up Amethyst Launcher. You'll want to create a profile. Click on this chest here, create new profile, enter a name, let's call it modding. Make sure that the Minecraft version is set to 1.21.0.3. This is very important because Amethyst does not support other versions. Under runtime, you should see Amethyst runtime at version number. If you do not see this, jump back to this time here and follow the steps again. Inside of the right hand side, you should see tutorial mod at dev. If you do not see this, make sure that you have definitely built the project here. Click here to add it to your profile and hit save profile. Now down in the settings here, you want to turn on developer mode and then head back here. Hit launch game. This will start installing 1.21.0.3. Once it loads, it will ask you to choose a just-in-time debugger, find the one that is your Visual Studio community and press OK. Congrats, you've now made an Amethyst mod. In here, you should see your mod's name and you should see the message, Hello Amethyst World. This was printed by the line right here, Hello Amethyst World. You can see here in the code that you also add a listener to the on start game event. If we go back into Minecraft, if you select in here, hit escape and you should see here, on start join game. If you see this message here, that means your mod is fully set up and you're ready to go follow other parts in this tutorial.